Fatality. Yeah, yeah. What up, world? It's After Party Radio Show. If you did not know, it's your man Fatal, the host of the absolute most. I got my brother M. Dot Taylor, Detroit in the building. What's up, M. Dot? What up, man? Salute. Welcome to the After Party, brother. How you feeling? And I'm blessed. What up, though, man? Thanks what up, though? Me, man. Thanks for having me, bro. What's, What's the deal? What's going on with you, man? I'm chilling, man. We working, man. You got the D on the hat. You stay representing, man. I rap too, man. Anytime. The, the man. 313. Barely home. Like my nigga Drake said, hardly home, but always repping. Word. Straight up. So for those who don't know that have been living under a rock, my bro, me and M. Dot, we've been going back for some mad years now. And uh, the evolution is real, man. If everything that is right now is things that we've been talking about for a lot of years prior to this that we've been pursuing, man. So right. it's even in lyrics and some, you know, some songs we got out right now. That's it, man. You know it's been, all been calling it. Man. My, my music is blueprints to my life, man. Straight up, man. If you want to get inside the mind of M. Dot, you got to just go listen to my songs, man. Straight up. Manifesting. That's what we do. Absolutely. So, M. Dot, you from Detroit, Michigan. You're a father. You're an artist. You're, uh, people don't know, you're a final level music. Um, you were Ice T. Shout out to Henji. Shout out to Ice. Uh, you know, everyone, Evil E, everyone over there, the whole camp, man. I know all y'all, man. Nice. Much love. We go up. We all go back. And, uh, I just uh just watching your 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 progression man is insane, bro. I know you got new music with Jim Jones. Let's talk about the new single with Jim Jones, man. Well, the song is called um, "Biggest Fan," starring me, Jim Jones, and Mayno. And Mayno, come on. It's my record, and but it features both of those guys. But I just say starring us because everybody brought something dope and unique to the record, bro. And from Where? visually to sonically, you know, and they really gave me. Their, their authentic selves in, in those bodies of work, in that body of work particularly. You know what I'm saying? So Word. shout out to them and shout out to Zaytoven too, the producer, man. Zaytoven so beats. Zaytoven, man, straight up. Custom Come on. beat. Made it just for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm thankful. Straight up. You tapped in, man. Detroit, man. You moving around the A. You, and, you, you got some cool collaborations, man. Bro, before I did any of them records, man, me and you had a record called what? All Over the World. That's so what you do. You, nigga, come, you, you come on, man. Like, we gotta make a salute like for that. Man. Come bro. on, man. We, come on, we, dog, like, there's a wise man. He once said, "Smoke weed every day." Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> come on, man. Hello. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? I, I gotta hit my vape pen every day. Hold on. I'm in the studio. Hold on. Shit, yeah, bro. I mean, we've been talking about making power moves and just the moves getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You can't just wake up the one bait? day. No, I'm cool. Okay, Appreciate cool. That. You can't wake up one day and just like, oh, I'm about to make these big ass moves with Facts. nobody at work to stand on. Why are the people going to come? Facts. Why are the investors going to rock with you? Why are like-minded, powerful, successful individuals going to align themselves with you in your creative spaces? You know what I'm saying? What have you done? So as long as you're working and grinding every day, it's going to all pile up, man lead you somewhere just hopefully not off a damn cliff somewhere you well you, your journey is leading you to the sky bro what's let's talk about this this collab with dj drama man you gave me a little in the before the studio he came in here he was like fatal i dropped I this mean, crazy a, project is that no, no, is that no, how it, he is? It, ain't, it ain't even done yet nigga. okay can we talk? I, i'm giving you inside can, can we talk Look, about this like y'all don't even know man. can we talk about yeah, this yeah i mean we could talk about okay, it we okay, can touch okay. the services okay. a little bit okay. bottom bottom line is through my travels and doing good business you know what i'm saying with with real niggas, man, and real businessmen, you know, other doors open up. You know what Facts. I'm saying? It's like, let's say behind your backdrop over there is another room that's full of extremely successful people. Where? But when I come into this room, before that I even know that room exists, you know what I'm saying? Y'all get to talk to me and feel people out to see if they can make it to that other room. You know what I'm saying? Word. You sometimes meet people that you never want to see again in your life. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. damn, I hope I never see you again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah. you meet some people that are really kindred spirits. You know Word. what I'm saying? Like straight up. And I got this thing in life where I say you're either an asset, a liability, or a relic. Word. Assets, they're cool because they di they bring different things to the table. Appreciate value. you can sometimes. find other you can find other assets. Word. And like you said, assets sometimes depreciate in value mm -hmm. over time. Mm -hmm. Then you have, what's that? Liabilities. They, that speak for themselves. Then you mm -hmm. have relics. Those are the relationships that are hard to replace, virtually impossible to replace. You really yeah. just got to come to terms that you got to search for a different type of energy because you can't get that again. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So that's value. what it is, bro. 
And mm-hmm. again, so the DJ Drama Project, it, it opened up another door for me after I wound up doing good business with Jim and them and the people that run their whole operation. Shout out my dog, Pone, 730 More Work. He just like he just called me Wait. one day like, yo, Dot, man, send me some more records, man. Mm-hmm. Call me back like, yeah, man, I just got done talking to Drama for you, man. And it's time. Let's do it. Word. And so, you ring, know, ring. About to get ready to go gear up to do that, man. Along with some old fly shit, man. Shout out to Drama. Shout out to Dipset. All Come those on. guys, man. Straight Come on. Up. What else? What's, you got to tell yourself right now what's next. Because you, everything you keep, everything you plan to manifest and becomes true. So, we, what's next for M. Dot? Well, After all this greatness already that's already coming together, brewing right now. We're not going to talk about what's next, like what I want to do. We're going to talk about. I got so much stuff that's queued up that's coming down the pipeline that Facts. I feel I should talk about now because it has release dates and things like that. Before Word. I didn't like talking about things mm-hmm. before it got done because some shit can happen and mess up the business. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to jinx shit. Mm-hmm. So I gave you that jewel outside, man, just to let you know, like, man. Facts. I got some shit coming, man. You know, all the shit we've been grinding for. Because, I, again, I knew you for a lot of, a lot of years, man. And when I first got to... Mm-hmm. LA on the Hollywood scene, you was there grinding, doing your thing, putting in that footwork. And Come on. I'm seeing you at 15, 20 different events over the <laughs> years. Straight up, bro. And it just got yeah. to a time like, yeah, let me kick it with my dog, man. You know, shoot, it ain't no coincidence that we keep locking in in these circles where I'm thinking I'm separating myself from niggas and Word. you come in and smiling with the teeth out. I'm like... <laughs> oh, come on. They weren't veneers nigga. either, baby. My they nigga. thought they were veneers. No, I was like, nah, baby. That's just a testament to your grind too, No facts. So. Appreciate you, man. Salute to you, bro. Straight up. Come on. King Talk only. But September 1st, I got a record that's coming out with Rick Ross, Young Dolph, rest in peace. Let's talk about it. And Shane and Chris Foster on the production and myself on the verse. All know? the homies Shane Foster. Come on. No, I met him through the DFD. Norwood some, yeah, some years Shout back. Shout out to DFD. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They doing their thing. They did the production for it. They actually. Oh, you about to go up. They actually packaged up the situation for me. And okay. I've been seeing them do great business and get Grammy nominations and get Facts. No, no, billboard, for billboard plaques and working the Grammy carpets and yep. doing all the, the next level things that I aspire to do. You know what I'm saying? And it just came a point where it just aligned right. Like, hey, Doc, man, let Let's have a conversation about what you're doing, what you're working on. Mm-hmm. And I already know their success rate is so fucking high. Yeah. That I'm like, I don't want to talk call. to you. I don't want to talk to you niggas on the phone. I want to book a flight to Atlanta. <laughs> Get face to face and let's build this. Yeah. And so I just set up a whole bunch of business out there. That's why I wound up going to see Zaytoven out there. Right. Shout out to homie, uh, a big up, X man. out there with the Coalition DJs. Shout out my, to Coalition Yeah, we went DJs, out there. I rocked yeah. that stage over there at uh, what, Stanktonia Studios. Stankonia. Outcast. Yeah, shout we went. out to Outcast. And new Music Mondays, Michael, all new that. Music Mondays. Yeah. yeah, straight up. They got my new record uh, with Jim Jones and them that's coming out tonight at midnight. Okay. But they done blasted that shit out to all the DJs. Shout out DJ Funky and uh, yeah. Big X. I got the, uh, yeah. core, the core DJs, Come Tony on. Neal. They blasting my shit out. Uh, MP3 Wax, Digi Wax, uh, BPM Supreme, Fleet DJs, uh, Dope. Club Killers. Uh, it's just so many, dog. Like, now you pushing, man. I can't, but this the first time I actually had a record that's being serviced like this. So like this, Facts. if I would have had this level of game that I have now, Come on. back then, but you know what? It's part of the journey, though, man. Oh Come no, on. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to walk some shit down now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. The people that didn't believe in me. Facts. I want y'all to know that I ain't forgot y'all. I'm looking <laughs> the camera. I ain't forgot y'all. Y'all motivated me. It wasn't so much the people that was telling me I was great and I was they were feeding my ego, or even if certain vibes was good to them. It's y'all that told me I wasn't good enough. That made me sharpen my shit up a little bit more so now y'all really ain't gonna be able to stop me let's go hey there's a song by a wise man named Mayno says hi haters can we just wave at him real quick for- and he also say hustle hard and stuck paper <laughs> come, <laughs> so come on dog. shout out to dog man you know that nigga gave me some love yeah. but real talk pause you know cause I know niggas play pause and shit but- pause red flag pause them niggas showed me the real <laughs> love in New York, man. Straight up, bro. no, for I'm real. Out there, we we outside. You know what I'm saying? People riding by on the on the bikes and shit. Like the ATVs stopping, and all that. Man, they yeah. stopping in the middle of the street and everything, looking at us, filming the video. 
go up and people just joining, turning up in between takes. Hey, that shit hard. He from Detroit. Man, come, come on, on, dog. And I mind you, I had never been to New York before. Facts. That's crazy. You At just jumped, point, you, you jumped straight into culture. Come on, dog. The love. A beautiful experience, my Facts, nigga. facts. Except for what else? I'm gonna say once I got to New York out the airport, as soon as I walked outside, I was overdressed. I didn't know the weather was gonna be kill a nigga hot. You know oh, it's usually super cold. Bro, when, what, what, nigga, what time of the year was that? This was maybe like a month ago. Oh, this is not too long ago. Oh, nigga, this was in July. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Cause I went, it was yeah, freezing. Bro, it was also a couple months out bro, from now. I went out there, I would start dripping sweat oh, immediately. Man. As soon as I walk outside the airport, then we get in the Uber. Uber feeling incredible. Take us to the hotel. AC man, pushing. Man. Get to the hotel, boom, check in. Incredible view when I get to my room and everything. Boom. Then my homie like, yo, I'm around the corner, man. I see you in I see you in town, man. I'm about to pull up on you, man. Let's go shopping. I'm like, let's do it. I'm like, I had needed to get something to wear for the music video anyway. I'm like, I didn't want to come to New York with some shit from Cali. I'm like, fuck that, man. Let me come to New York with the fashion capital. Get some Timberlands or something. And, and go shopping. I wanted to get something from New York in a video. I'm like, yeah, oh yeah, that nigga got that from I'm saying, yeah, so what did we do? I'm like, yo, I looked at my phone to see what was nearby, and the flight club was, I want to say, like maybe two miles from where I was staying at my hotel room. Nigga, they like, yo, we cannot get in an Uber down there, bro. That shit gonna take 45 minutes. I'm like, to go two miles? They're like, no, you never been in New York before, son. I'm two like, miles is like, it's like LA time times 10, bro. So I'm like, all right, fuck it, man. I want to, I want to see the scenery anyway. <laughs> fuck it, let's go get stuck. <laughs> Mind you. So we, we get on the walk. Word. I'm still overdressed, <sighs> nigga. My t-shirt, my outfit, everything. Start <laughs> soggy, nigga. By the time I got inside the store, I almost catch the Steam room wet. Cause they got the damn air conditioner on, motherfucking super <laughs> Arctic chill. I go, we go to the flight club, man. I'm, I'm so no. hot. And, and irritated, I'm like, man, I'm just trying to hurry up and get some, get a couple pair of shoes, a couple of t-shirts and shit. I'm like, man, I'm just ready to go back to the room, though. I want to oh take a shower God, and relax. Look, nigga, I'm sweating now <laughs> thinking about that. Shit, <laughs> That's what you making me hot, bro. This li- Straight up, bro. When I went to when I went to New York, bro, it was so cold, bro. It was freezing. It was it was I was in uh, Queens, bro. Nigga, I would have loved to go out there while it was kind of cold. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. That, that heat, nigga. Oh, whew. <laughs> Yo, can I get a napkin or something now, boy? Yeah, we'll Ooh. take a commercial break. How about that? All right, let's do it, man. All right, we'll be right back, man. Salute. We'll be right back after this commercial break. M. Dot Taylor, we're actually going to play one of your songs right now. How about this, man? How about you world premiere this record right here live on After Party? This new one you got with Mano and Jim Jones. Go ahead and introduce your record, man. What up, though? It's your boy, M. Dot Taylor. We kicking it right now on Frenzy with my dog at the After Party. Let's get it. Biggest fan. About to get ready to turn it up. M. Dot Taylor. Mano. Jim Jones, Zaytoven on the motherfucking beat. Let's go. Hello. If you didn't know, now you know. This is the After Party Radio Show. Yeah, that's my bitch and she knows she the baddest. Something ain't gotta be said. Run up a check on my bitch cause she classy, nasty, my biggest fan. When I get back to the band. We gon' get right to the bands. We gon' get right to the bands. We gon' get right to the bands. Let's get back to our bands. Let's get back in our bag. 20 stacks for the Birkin. 100 stacks in your bag. Let's get back to the trips. We ain't packing no bags. You my fix, you my high. You my crack in my bag. Cardi gears on your wrist. Range Rovers to park. Hold them stones on your body. You could glow in the dark. Hang you nice with your hands. Hit them hoes on the stars. Remember Dan in Bahamas when I dove with the sharks. Different places to live We can race to the crib And I never get tired Kevin Gates where I live All on trips to the tropics We done jumped out of yachts Name a whip, we done copped it We done jumped out of drops Yeah, that's my bitch and she knows she the baddest Something ain't gotta be said Run up a check on my bitch cause she classy, nasty, my biggest fan When I get back to the bands We gon' get right to the bands We gon' get right to the bands We gon' get right to the bands 
Highly addicted to doing the nasty with you and count up bands I got an itch that can only be scratched by you and all these bands Now you all on my hands, money all on my plans Got you all in my pants, might get to fight to Japan and ball out All of this loyalty that you been giving to me, making me cash out Hit on my niggas ain't ticky for one of them ones, cause I'm in that bag now Mac 10 on my side, like I'm T-Boss when I step out Final level on a real nigga with some real ones, but ass bout Oh, I talk about some shit, I'd rather show ya It's really in my blood to be a soldier If you ever do me wrong, you can't get no love Only else that I acknowledge full of doja For I talk about some shit, I'd rather show ya It's really in my blood to be a soldier If you ever do me wrong, you can't get no love Only else that I acknowledge full of doja Something ain't gotta be yeah. said Run up a check on my bitch cause she classy, nasty, my biggest fan When I get back to the bands, we gon' get right to the bands We gon' get right to the bands, we gon' get right to the bands We, right the bands. we, right the bands. we linkin' tonight, right? We spendin' the night, right? Been fuckin' with lames, never had cheese in your life, right? Come mingle with stars, pull up in bulletproof cars We gon' go makin' some movie, wake up inside of the blogs, yeah They snappin' our photos, guess we not on a loto They can tell it, it's me, my body is covered in logo Dope dealer guitar, mix Celine with Dior I'ma give her my face tonight if that pussy is pure I'm the nigga she like, I figured she might Addicted to hoes, but I'm in need of a wife Come hop in a ride, pulling them panties aside I'm your biggest fan, be popping up all on my timeline Yeah, this my bitch and she know she the baddest So she ain't gotta be sad Run up a check on my bitch cause she classy, nasty, my biggest fan When I get back to the band we gon' get right to the bands, we gon' get right to the bands, we gon' get right to the bands. If you didn't know, now you know. This is the After Party Radio Show. After Party Radio Show. It's your man Fatal, my brother right here, M. Dot Taylor. What up, though? What up, though, man? We in the building. What's you know, you know people trip out when I meet people from Detroit. And I'm, they know I'm from L.A. or Cali or whatever. They're like, yo, like, we start talking. They just judge a book by the cover, man. Never know, man. They don't know. And they, I hit her with, what up, though? <laughs> and guess what happens every single time? They all they look at like, me. Oh, they know. Shit. They literally look at me like I unlocked, like, a secret code. Or I spoke a foreign, like, ancient language. That, they, that made them go, wow. That's what it is, Who man. do you know? Basically, basically, who do you know? And I'm like, no trip. Straight up, man. <laughs> They never know, bro. And then I'll connect it with the D. They don't even know Detroit, though. That's it, bro. That's how it go, man. Three one three. You speak the language. You say what up, though. You ain't really got to know nobody. You be like, I know that's from Detroit. I you think you had told me that some years back, bro. I, I tell people all the time. I, was, I actually use you as a reference where I tell people from Detroit. I'm like, man, my bro M Dot years ago told me like, if you meet someone and they say they from Detroit, Michigan, three one three, and you say what up, though, to them, and they don't respond right back with what up, though. And they're not from the D. You told me that mad years ago, bro. I, I never, I never forgot it. Never Heard forgot up, it. Man, I mean, you big, you big said that. It's just, <laughs> it's like, the, it's like the, the lingo. It's like saying that you lived in LA and you never had tacos. Man, come like, on, you no, know, no cap, bro. We love tacos. Straight up, it's just no, not even just the love for the tacos, my nigga. It's culture. part of the culture. Bags. bags That's bags. the point. Like. When something is deeply rooted within something, you know, if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. I can't speak for a place that I haven't seen operate. I've mean, right. been there and touched the soil, seen all of right. that shit. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Word. Or so Detroit, I can tell you that. What up, though? <laughs> that shit is universal. What up, though? Anybody <laughs> watching this interview? That's what from up, Detroit, though? baby. Look, follow me on Instagram at m.taylor. I know I'm going to do that later in the show, but you know. If you're watching this interview, you're from Detroit, or if you got love for Detroit, man, hit your boy M dot up, man, because I got love for you. Detroit is really about fucking when who fuck with them. Detroit, Detroit versus everybody. No. <laughs> okay, cause I heard that before. That, that that just means and that goes synonymous with what I was just saying right there. Detroit is about who fucks with them. You okay. can be a versus. You can be an opposition to us mm. if. You are in a way of what we trying to do. If mm. you are subjective to what we trying to do, instead of object, I mean, instead of being a part of this objective that we are pushing, this narrative that we pushing, you mm. know what I'm saying? Like straight up, bro. So it, we could turn that shit up on anybody. So Detroit versus anybody in a minute, because that's the mentality that it takes to be successful. 
fuck with who fuck with you, but run over who don't fuck with you. So who you feel is the top, your top three Detroit rappers of all time? I don't have a top three no Detroit top three? rappers of all time. Would Eminem, but would Eminem will, be in there? I'll, come on, man. Okay, I'm just, Eminem, some, some, people, some people wouldn't right, include so it. Funny, it's funny with this. It's crazy what they wouldn't. You got God tier, then you got my top three. Got you, know you know got so you, got you. M up there. God MC. With one of the God MCs from Detroit. You know what I'm Facts. saying? Legend. Just because of the success, the accolades, the longevity in the journey. You know what I'm saying? Like, straight up, bro. And he, it was a point in time, bro. He was the number one artist on the planet for Facts. five, ten years in a row. He went diamond. Still, like, more than that. I'm talking about, like, just yeah. of Marshall's presence. Yeah. He ain't even physically got to be there. and he Influence. Can, he can drop some shit that you ready to hear and <laughs> you're going to focus in on Crazy it. Crazy shit. just dissect it. Like, well, or at least the core fans. Like me, I'm a core fan too. Of, of my nigga Marshall. Facts. You know what I'm saying? One of my biggest Shout out influences. To Marshall. I got to meet my nigga Marshall in Dr. Dre's studio, bro. Uh, so, <clears throat> it was so surreal for me. That's just a life. Let me, let, pause. Hold on. Hold on. Pause. Hold on. Pause. I got to meet him in Dr. Dre's studio. Pause. He just tried to swift past that. Let's, no, that's that's that's, because, that's, a, that's an accolade for you, bro. That's an experience to have on your on your on your shoulders, bro. To say I live that. I don't want to you know act saying? like it was just some. That's dope. Hey man, let's go. Uh, hey man, let me go take you to meet Eminem. No, it wasn't nothing like that. I was going to the studio to meet Dr. Dre, and I was praying the whole time. All right, I hope 50 Cent there. I hope Kendrick there. I hope Eminem there. You know what I'm saying? Like some unrealistic shit. Facts. Why would them niggas just randomly all be there? As a hip hop fan. While I'm yep. going to meet Dre. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, shit, you never know who the company Dre keep. That's I where they been, would be. I have been in um, LA at that moment for maybe about like six years. You know what I'm saying? And I had never seen Dre. Where? I'd never seen that he, nigga. He's not outside like I'd that. Never, nope. ever. I'm like, is Dr. Dre a real person? You know, like, like, just because it's a, it's a, it's I was AI. everywhere. And you know me, nigga. We ain't been in the hills. We ain't been here. We ain't been there. Dre don't go to none of them niggas' parties. Word. Dre don't hang out with nobody. Dre working. And if he ain't working, he in a, on a yacht and vacationing somewhere. So Thanks. when I got to go to Dre's studio, he like, yo, I got Marshall in the back, man. Y'all want to go say what's up to Marshall? Check out Marshall? I'm like... So who? You mean Marshall? He looked at me. He was like, the fire Marshall. Really? Like, I, it was just a moment. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? I just wanted to make sure. Like, like it wasn't one of his homies, Marshall Green or yeah, some yeah, shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Straight up, it wound up being M. But Sarah Marshall. I'm like, yo. He like, yeah, we about to go in the back in the studio. I'm like, oh man. Um, I'll be in there in a minute. And actually, no, that ain't what happened. He said, we're about to go in the studio. Boom. So we walk in the studio together. Me, Dre, my manager, Han G. Shout out to Han G. M not in there. And then I'm like, yo, at this point, I'm so nervous. I'm like, damn, I'm in the studio with Dr. Dre. I know this nigga going to put a beat on it. Have you been make me rap? Just go off. I'm like, can I use the restroom real quick? <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, it's right there. You know what's happening. Bam, walked out there, go into the bathroom. Was that your eight mile moment, bro, when with I the boss spaghetti in the my, bathroom? My mama. <laughs> my eight mile. You know, this is crazy, dog. And I'm gonna tell I'm gonna take that from you and call it my eight mile moment. Yeah. Because nigga, I was in the bathroom looking in the mirror, just how my nigga M was. Yeah. Stressing, putting some water stressing. on my face. And then I'm thinking how M was about to grab that dry ass towel from I'm, yeah. I'm the dry ass uh, paper towel from the uh, nightclub. I'm in Dr. Dre's studio. I look to the right. This nigga had this motherfucking thing over there that had this big ass section full of moist towels. <laughs> and that bitch, I'm like, what the? Oh, look where I'm at. It was so clutch. I'm like, yo, this shit is a dream. They had the basket over Made here. Made you feel like you took a shower, huh? You over here like, uh. Please put the moist towelettes in here, man, after you. I'm like, yo, moist towelette basket? Oh, I'm, like, I'm bad and bougie this today. I love with this bitch, bro. I'm like, yo, this Mama, is we made it. Facts. So, <laughs> after I get done turning up about the moist tiles in the back, exactly. I'm like, all right, bet. I'm ready, man. I'm ready to get back in the studio. As soon as I open the door to leave the bath, to go back in. Eminem walk past the door. Ticka, ticka, ticka. Slim Shady. I thought I seen a fucking ghost. Yeah. I walked out the door. I'm like, M, what up, though? Nigga turned around. What you know about that? I was like, man, what up, though? I'm M. Dot Taylor from Detroit. I'm Ice T's new artist. Holy fucking shit. I fucking love Ice T. The nigga grabbed my shoulders, dapped me up, gave me a hug, man. He was like, man, you here with Dre? I know I'm going to be hearing your shit soon, man. So just keep that shit going, man. 
can't wait to hear Shoo, some of this shit. Light flag. So right after that, the, the, I was your ready. Ego, your, your, <gasps> but he was leaving though. Like, oh, okay. You call him passing. Nigga. Come on. He had bro. been there all morning working on his album, bro. And I heard he works the like that. I heard, album that he M works he's like that. that. He where he cuts out at a certain time. Nine to five. Yeah, exactly. He don't stay late. None of that. No. Nah. He's in that bitch working on that album. So when we go in the studio, Dre let me hear him hear some of the songs crazy from the album but the whole time the way Dre do it he don't say hey you want to hear some of his album and that's not, he don't do nothing that's it he scared the shit out of me cause <laughs> he brought one instrument in then he brought another instrument in oh to start breaking the track then down he brought another instrument in yeah then the nigga brought the Dre bass line in and you know, that's, at, that's at that, that live. time I'm like I got like a million bars I can spit at any moment for this shit all just say the word Dre nigga yeah. say the word nigga I'm ready go. to rap nigga go go right at the peak of him bringing in more instruments and I got the mix and all that shit for them bitches sounding it's so incredible and it's so loud I feel like my fucking head about to pop up the nigga drop Eminem vocals and that shit let all the air out of my body <laughs> You're like I go oh, from shit. thinking I'm about to get ready to spit to second guessing your flow now. I, no, not even that. It was just I'm like, whoa. <laughs> this is I had to really take I had to really take it, it in what guard. was happening. Come it on, man. Imagine my nigga. You seen the process you sitting in the studio with Dr. Dre. The legendary shit, bro. Thinking he just playing some beats for you and making a beat, playing it for you so you can get off, see if you got something to it. And it wound up being M's unreleased album. Trusting me with this? Facts. I was just like. That's, that's like being access to uh, Four Knots. When, when there was gold there back in the day. Nigga, right after that. <laughs> Not currently. Right after that shit, man. Like, Message. Nigga was, he was like, yo, he played, he did that shit, let it, let it ride for like 15 minutes. Of, of just building that up, letting yeah. us hear it. And he anticipated the verbals, And then right after that one song, he was like, yo. By the way. Let's go have a drink. Oh, I'm okay. Like, Nigga, you think about that? I wanted to have a drink anyway. I came there so clean and sober. I'm just so clear headed. I'm going to meet Dr. J. Oh, yeah, you got to be you know, It's like going to job interview. The thing I had was a blunt on the way there. You it's know like what I'm job saying? I can operate ready. off weed all day, but facts, you know, facts. if they drink, you got to really be clear. So, nigga, I'm like, you think I'm going to tell Dr. Dre no? Yeah, you can't do that. And we go in the kitchen, and he's like, what's up, Hen? You having a drink too? And he was like, no, nah, man, you know, my doc going to drink with you. And then I was like, hell yeah, Dre, what we drinking? He was like, really? He pulled out the most exotic bottle of gin I ever seen in my life. And I'm in there drinking gin and juice with Dr. Dre. But not no, no basic gin. No, nah, hell no, nah, bro. This it bottle. Was, this is Dr. Dre certified gin. Come on, man. I grew up listening to gin mm. and juice. And I got to sip gin and juice with Dre. So, nigga. Come on, man. This ain't no gin in my cup right now. But shout out to yeah. Dre and that exotic ass gin. You know what I'm nice. saying? Shout out to you, big homie, for real, man. I'll yeah. never forget that. Shout out to Ann Wellness. We sipping on your juice over oh, here, yeah, too, with up. the homie, you know, O from the 410. Plug Dog right here with the Giant Greens, which is 100% pressed juice. Mm. You know what I'm saying? No preservatives. Just Concentrate. That, no, just no. that real deal. Holy field. Let's get it. Facts. M. Dot, proud of you, my brother. Love you, bro. This is a, And this is just a small story. We're going to, this This can go on. We can do hours and hours and days and days of this conversation, and more and more amazing content will come out. We can't give you guys everything in one day. Rome wasn't but built in a day. I do want to shout out my niggas, man. Go ahead, of I course. Have to shout out the final level team. One hundred percent. Shout out N final level. NG, Ice T, Evil E, Fetty Demarco, yep. Dan Daniel Peter, Daniel, my what nigga, up? My nigga Merkums, my dog Six CZ. You know what I'm saying? Dennis Def, uh, all of those guys, man. Ringleader Ace, um, just everybody, all of them guys. Shout out to my homie. Uh, my, my cousin DJ Killer Kev, my, my cousin Mario, you know, um, just my whole family. Free my little brother Marvin. Shout out Brian. Shout out little Brian. Come on, man. Brian loves you, dog. Like, come nigga, on. I talked to Brian on the way up here, man, and he was like, "Yeah, man, you supposed to been locked in with Fatale and did that fly shit he over there doing." I was like, "Man, no yeah. way, bro." 
Straight up, no. Well, you a member, man? I, I stood for Ryan, man. He remember that? Come on, man. We, we go it's, it's deeper than music, bro. Well, we, look, we really brothers, bro. We got to have a conversation off air because it's Facts. time for another Vegas trip. Oh, shit. <laughs> we going to do Hangover Remix. It's, it's time gonna, for another Vegas trip. You ready? Hey, y'all don't get the specifics of that. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? You won't know when or when we're going, hey, man, but we man. will be there at some point. Hey, man, follow our social medias, man. Y'all might, <laughs> Where can they follow you, M. Y'all might get a hint. You know what I'm saying? Where can they follow you on social media? M. Taylor. That's M D O T T A Y L O R. That's across all platforms, musically, socially, Googly. Indubitably. <laughs> Indubitably. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Hey, that goes over their head like free willy, baby. They don't even understand that lingo. You start saying indubitably. It's like talking, yeah, it's preach tabernacle, church on the move. You know church man? on the move. Right? Yeah, man. Come on. Hey yo, shout out to these exotic ass lights y'all got. Like that, man. Y'all got a nigga in this bitch blazing <laughs> and it's clean, clear ass microphones. Shout out to the sound team. Shout yeah. out to the video production team in here. I see y'all. Y'all yeah. in here doing y'all thing. Yeah. You know? Shout out to all of y'all in the building. You know what I'm saying? And I shout M Dot man. Uh anyone else that you want to shout out before we get out of here? I want to shout out God or any form of the God that y'all believe in because anything that we doing right now is because of that form of the God that y'all believe in. Whether y'all believe in it or not, I believe in a form of God. And shout out to God. Word. We're going to shout out to one last thing before we dip out of here. Good vibes only. You see LeBron back there. Oh, you see the Lakers. James, but you see man. Lakers. You see Dodgers championship year. And you see Nip yeah. on the top dreaming. Oh, yeah. Ooh, lonely and Come on, bro. This, we got, we got, it's all good vibes in Shout that corner. James, you know what bro. I'm saying? So with that being said, what is a gem or a jewel that M. Dot Taylor would like to share to maybe a youngster, someone tuned in right now that's, that's looking at this like, M. Dot, I want to do what you're doing, man. Like, you made it. You're doing what I want to live to be. What is, what is some game that you want to share, bro, to, to that person or those people tuned in right now? Surround yourself with relics. Relics are like-minded individuals that not only believe in what it is that they're doing, but they become obsessed with it, meaning that they're willing to go to all depths necessary without degrading your integrity to accomplish a mission, without doing something to jeopardize your morals and the things that you stand on. So if you list your top 20 friends, you know what I'm saying? And back then, they had something called MySpace where you can list your top five. I didn't see the importance <laughs> of that. But that was a networking tool. But if you really lay out your top 20 friends, organize the friends and the ones that really go hard for you the hardest, you know, and make that list interpersonal for yourself, not something that they get to see, the 20 get to see that. But that's something that you know. And align yourself with the people that go the hardest for you and the things that they believe in. And that'll apply to all aspects of your life, not just musically. Um, it'll be spiritually. It'll be financially. It'll be emotionally build people's credibility in your life. You know what I'm saying? And you will know how to call people friends, associates straight up. So right. surround yourself with some relics and people that got game and get you some real good OGs in your life. Some people that's older than you, that's been there before, straight up. Yeah. Stop following trends on TikTok only. I mean, that shit cool sometimes, man, because it helps you reinvent yourself, but don't lose yourself in the process, man. It's cool to try some trends. Some trends, it's funny as hell. I can scroll down my phone and watch it for 30 minutes, but I'll never do this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll like, let y'all handle like, that. Like, I'll never physically do it, but I'll watch y'all do it and get yeah. all the laughs and exactly. all of that shit. But, you know, some things apply to what I think is cool, and I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Facts. Do what's for you. M. Dot Taylor, appreciate you, man. One more time, where can I follow you? At M D O T T A Y L O R. M. Dot Taylor across anywhere. That's socially, that's musically, that's googly, indubitably. Fa I was waiting for it. Facts. Let's get it, man. Hold on, where are we at? Shout out to the after party, man. Come We're on. to turn up, man. You ready? You want, another, you want one more drink? Let's go. All right, man. We out of here, man. <laughs> it's the As a Party Radio Show, man. M. Dot Taylor, my brother. Let's do Stay it. tuned. 313 in the building, man. Let's get it. Final level music. Much love, man. Let's so get it. So on the way out. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? After party. Where's, oh, where, oh, I, got, I got juice. I got juice. I got juice. I got juice. Who got the juice? Okay. Hello, world. It's your man, Fatal. After Party Radio Show. You already know. When I'm not on the radio, 
talking on the airwaves. I'm right here dropping content on Frenzy Broadcasting's YouTube channel. So make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all go check out all the weekly content coming soon from the Outlaw Show to the After Party Show to Ilani Talks. So much coming soon. Get ready for the Frenzy.